The holiday travel rush and it's starting to pick up as millions across the country will be taking to the skies this week. Yes, about that time, leaders at Tampa International Airport, they are taking steps to simplify your trip. Enter your size, Beth Rousseau is live with some tips to make your travel easier. Beth, they need to find the easiest way to the turkey, period. And the only thing you want to worry about is what type of pie you're going to have for dessert. But leaders here at TPA are doing everything they can to make it as easy as possible. One of those tips, they say, make sure you're using the Blue Express lanes. If you only have a carry-on bag, then you can avoid all the traffic near the baggage claim areas and as well as the ticketing area. So we were talking to leaders with TPA, and they say that they are expecting to see 75 to 80,000 passengers a day during this Thanksgiving travel period. That's compared to the 55 to 60,000 that they see on the average day here at the airport. Overall, though, they say that crowds are going to be smaller than what they saw for Thanksgiving last year. Last year in 2021, they saw about 800,000 passengers flying through TPA. This year, they're only expecting 725,000. That doesn't mean that you don't need to plan ahead. They say parking is limited at the airport. You can book those spots online to make sure that you actually get a spot. It's easier to find. It's going to be cheaper for you as well. Well, we talked to passengers who are flying out today and they say they don't take any chances when they're coming to the airport for holiday travel. Get here early, um, especially two hours before the flight, just because it can get kind of trafficy, and then I have to go down and get a ticket for him and make sure I get my security clearance. So I like to just make sure I'm done early. Done early leaders here say two hours ahead of time is how early you want to get here for domestic flights. And once you're here early, you're going to notice a lot more shops and restaurants are open this year because they're fully staffed, which they weren't this time last year. The other thing that they tell us is that the airlines have really shifted their scheduling as well as their staffing to make sure you see as few delays and cancellations as possible this Thanksgiving. We're live at Tampa International Airport. Beth Russo, eight on your side.